I wanted to just quickly, on those PL87, that is the largest unit. So what is sort of the size range, not to get too technical, Tony, but just so we have an understanding, what is sort of the size range of, of the PL line of the, the CAT uh, manufacturers? Yeah, so I mean, you mentioned the smallest one is the, is the PL61, and that's used, on, again, on smaller projects, distribution-type work, not, not really mainline work. And, and, and then we have the, the PL72, the PL83, and, and the PL87, which again is, is the largest machine. It's a 90 ton machine. Um, so they're, you know, they're, they're very big. They're, they're quite, quite uh, heavy. So it takes, you know, a couple of trucks to, to haul a, a PL87 to, uh, to a job site. And, and the, the pipe layers, with the exception of the PL61, they're, they're still manufactured here in, in, uh, in the United States of Caterpillar's factory up in Peoria, Illinois. Oh, does that, um, the, what, are, what was, I was gonna ask something and I didn't, and I didn't wanna forget it. Oh, the, when you sell these units, um, you know, if you, let's say you've got a D8, uh, they maybe need an excavator, and would there typically, uh, and I, I apologize for the layman question, Tony, but, would there ever would there ever be a case where you would just sell one pipe layer, or is it always when I see the videos and that it's always like there's five or six laying the pipe? Is that always the setup, or is there cases where people so are you always selling multi units when you do this when you do these projects? Yeah, I mean primarily it's all multi units because it's for large projects, and and uh, so so we also you know sell and of course rent um, um, mm. our equipment. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll sell it through, you know, leasing options, and then, and then of course, we, we rent it uh, to, to the customer uh, direct as well. I got to I got to jump over to the Canadian side. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. There's it's always multi always units. Multi units. Uh, like I said, when they're building these, these these big these big projects, so it takes a lot of equipment, um, and so so you usually sell them, you know, by the dozen. The, uh, I'll ask one last question that probably everybody watching knows, but that I don't. Um, when you, these different sizes, do you, do they, let, let's say, let's say someone already owns uh, several units, but now they've upgraded in size. Do they mix or match or, or is that why there's that rental options and that do people have to switch out back and forth based on the project or can you, can you sort of, uh, is there a bit of a sliding scale on, could, could two different size units work to, in unison together? Uh, on, on the bigger diameter of pipelines, they, 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 they don't really. I mean, you'll, you'll use like a PL87 and a PL83 on, on a project. Um, it, but primarily, they'll, they'll use the same machine depending, you know, the pipe might be concrete coated, so it's a lot heavier, so they'll have to use right. more 87s than 80, or, or more, yeah, more 87s than 83s. And a lot of times, they, the, the the seventy two is, is is a popular machine as well, and and they'll use those on, on the projects uh, for for the uh, automatic welding. So so oh. we, one of our partners in the industry is a CRC Evans, and they're they're uh, primarily focused on automatic welding. So you know you have to weld each of these joints together, and we also uh, have a Vanguard uh, welding machine that'll be on the back of the uh, pipe layer and it'll be holding up a, a shack tractor and uh, basically it goes down the line before the before the pipe is laid in the ground and, and it'll weld all these joints oh okay yeah it's, it's quite a sophisticated uh, uh you know project and it's it's uh it, it's all automatic well so it's all tested and, and everything else so so we work along crc evidence because our machines will be providing the power for the for the welding unit 